Okay. So set yourself up for a comfortable seat and we'll welcome ourselves home. Come to rest into your own state of beingness. Letting your eyes close, your jaw drop. Just feeling this flow of breath. Checking in with your body, with your mind. Any tension you're feeling, perhaps in the lower area where we hold it, or tightness in the heart, the furrowing of the brow. And notice if there's any space to pick yourself up, to lift your heart, to drop the shoulders. <laughs> Inhale as you are. Exhale, join the hands at the heart and bow your chin. Chant OM together three times. Inhale. Oh. Oh. Sitting in your silence and your resonance for a few moments. Gently releasing your hands, in your chin, and opening your eyes. Good. Just roll your wrists for a little bit. If you need to stretch your legs out, you can do that, of course. And then we'll just take a few moments of sitting. I'm just going to give these a little shake. Good. And we'll start with moving into twists. So just take your twist to one side and floss a little bit. Welcome yourself here. Pausing in the twist. <clears throat> you inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and take them all the way over as you turn to the opposite side. Coming back to that flossing. Resting. Inhale, sweep your arms straight up and all the way over. Come back to the first side. Be here. If you need to move, move. You need to twist, turning the heart. Inhale as you are. If you exhale, sweep your arms up. And all the way over, come to the second side. And we'll just flow from side to side, so moving at your own pace and your own state of grace. Taking your time, not moving too fast. One more on each side.
I mean, just sit in the center with the palms up. Drop your gaze. As you inhale, grow tall. Take your left hand to the floor and we'll sweep the right arm over and around and just open the chest, the shoulders. As much as you can. Notice what happens when you bend the elbows. That a helpful movement. And at some place here, reverse and just circle this right arm the opposite way. And then resting with the right arm over your head, and if resting is the right word, but stretch it and drop that left shoulder to her in the chest. Stay here, turn your gaze to look down. And we're going to take this right hand to the outside of this left knee, however you're sitting, or left thigh, and take the left arm up and over into this awkward side bend. Really stretch from the left rib cage up through the arm, down through the hip. Oh, good. And then come all the way up and just pause with the palms. Feel it's opening, the breath expanding. And then we'll take the right hand down and we'll start sweeping that left arm up and around. Some place here, just reverse and circle the opposite direction. Oh, scooping. Feel this is like opening the wings at the back of you, either side of the spine where the shoulder blades meet. That's where your wings are. The next time this left arm comes up and over. You're going to rest into this side stretch and ah, just opening. Yeah. And then you're going to turn the chest, turn the chest to open. And then turn your gaze to look down and move to this awkward side bend. So left hand comes down, the right arm comes up and then over, whatever capacity. And you can feel that stretch is happening. Things open, expand, release, and again just come to rest. Palms up, heart lifting, <laughs> feeling all of that. Okay, and take the hands down, stretch the legs out, move the your little feet around, and swirl the ankles a few times in both directions. Wake up, sweet legs. Okay, you're going to take the socks off and we're going to come up to standing. Three opportunities and opportunities. So I'm sitting on a bolster. I'm going to give this a try today. We'll see what happens some days. Yes. Oh, today yeah. was a yes. <laughs> but if I sit on a height, I can generally do it. But it's just, you know, keep going, keep going. And if it doesn't happen, it's all a good part of it. Okay, have your strap handy. So I'm just going to put my strap here. And I think I'm going to uh, step over to. Okay, well, we did this in class the other day. And we're going to just um, start with slowing it down. So you don't even know what I'm talking about, but you will in a moment. Establish your stance. So I've separated my feet. They're like maybe outer hip distance, a little bit more apart. And, I'm just going to sweep the arms straight up as you breathe in. Then as you breathe out, bend your knees, take your butt back, start to come down. Maybe the forearms need to rest on the thighs for a moment, or the hands can come right down to the floor. Just drop your head wherever you are. Maybe rock front to back on your feet. 
and then be in a place where you can now take your arms and swing them all the way behind you and up to the sky. And then let them come down. And we're gonna come back up. So you're gonna sit in your legs, and bend your knees and come up to the power of your legs. Then release your arms down by your sides. Just pause, breathe. And we'll do it again slowly. So we inhale, sweep the arms straight up. And as you exhale, bend your knees, take the butt back, start to come forward wherever forward is for you today. Just find your place, let the head go if your hands are down. Have your knees bent. Okay, I'm gonna rock the hips side to side. Just take advantage of being here. And come back to center and sweep your arms straight behind you and up to the sky. And reach them up to the sky. And then on your exhale, we'll bend the knees, sit down on the legs. Take the arms straight up. And then release your arms by your side and just pause. And we're going to speed that up, or if you stay slow, it's Yogi's choice. So if you're going fast, it's an inhale, then an exhale to pull, and the arms go straight back. Maybe the legs straighten, and then we just find this little breath movement, and the arms can just sway. Yes. I'm just going to go faster. You do three more. Wherever you're doing, slow it down. Whatever you like. And we'll all meet just standing with the arms lifting. And take three breaths with the arms lifting. And then release your arms down by your side. Pause. Let's put your hands on your heart. Feel your grateful heart. All right, I'm gonna grab the strap. Okay, so we're gonna take this strap behind. I'm just gonna back up here because I know we know this. So I'm gonna take the strap behind with the palms facing out. We'll just take it back and then we'll move a little bit. So, so just with your hands, any distance you need, put the strap behind you. And then you hold the strap, start to take your arms behind you wherever they go. But roll the shoulders back. So roll the shoulders back. So these are shoulders forward, these are shoulders back. And then once you're here, we'll start to move side to side. It's your cape. Good. Okay. And then just let the strap rest at your tush. Turn your hands now so that the palms are facing out. And know you can slide the strap wherever you need to. We're going straight up overhead and all the way down. So you create as much space so that both arms are moving at the same pace. Draw your belly in a little bit. Good, and then this is it. So nice and strong in your legs, lifted heart. Just using this strap, good. Okay, we're gonna go one more time. You're gonna bring the strap in front of you. Yeah, now we're gonna take it straight up to the sky and you're gonna bring it down to that sticky part. I'm just gonna drop down again. So you're gonna find that place where it's like, ah, oh, the worst. And then we'll move a little bit side to side. So you're holding the strap. Whoop. Whoops. Okay, and good. Okay, and then take the strap all the way up to the sky, all the way down, put it in one hand, and just be with this for a moment. A big opening. Good. Okay, great. I'm gonna put the strap down. We're gonna take our bolster. And I'm just gonna put the bolster down pretty close to the wall. I'm gonna try and move the camera. We're gonna come into a forward fold with the hips at the wall. So if you like your blocks for that, bring them in. All good. Take the feet forward, bring the hips to the wall. And then I'm just gonna rest the back at the wall for a moment. We'll take the hands to the wall, we'll move the shoulders to the wall. Oh, I love all the camera adjusting. So you're just here. The shoulders are at the wall, the upper arms are at the wall, the palms are at the wall, back of your head is at the wall. 
Move your heart towards the wall. Okay, I hope you have room. We're gonna turn the palms to face out. And as you inhale, you're gonna sweep the arms up and you're gonna try and keep contact with the wall. Until these arms come up overhead. Backs of the hands are at the wall. The arms might be away from the wall, it's all good. Let's floss the shoulders like we do. So reach your arms up higher and then take the shoulders down. And just do that a few times. And then reach up and open those wings back out, bring them all the way down. Palms are gonna turn to the wall. Pause here. Now feel your hips at the wall. Or more, maybe it's more the sacrum. Lift the toes up off the floor. Anchor the feet from the hips down to the legs. And as you exhale, we're gonna start to fold forward and the knees can bend. The hands can rest anywhere you need to. I'm gonna put mine on the bolster and then release down. And what I like about the bolster is it makes the, the wrists are heavier and the hands are a little bit um, above the wrist. You get the full wrist stretch. I might even walk my hands forward more. And you feel your sit bones at the wall. Maybe you rock a little bit through your hips just to feel them. And then drop into your breath. Just stretch through the legs. Okay, bend your knees, friends. Drop your hips down, maybe you need height. We're gonna come to sit. So take the hands and bring yourself back as best as you can here. So I have the arms back, the shoulders back, taking the heart back. Maybe we'll lift the toes. Good. And then press yourself all the way up. Okay, come away from the wall. So we're gonna use the bolster for um, supported lunge. So I'm just gonna bring it back and uh, let's see. If you want your blocks, I don't know. Maybe not. you'll see. We're gonna come into a bent knee lunge. Okay, so I have my bolster, maybe a little bit more over to the right. Uh, maybe I'll just show you quickly while you're still in transition. Here's where we're going. We're gonna come down into a lunge and I'm gonna, I have my knee on the bolster and then I'll walk it back. Do you want to use the wall too? So maybe we need to bring the bolster closer to the wall. Some of you might not want it that close so that maybe I can get the leg up the wall. Okay, just gonna open the, yeah. But now I've shown you and we're gonna come start and stand. <laughs> okay, let me adjust this. And we'll just start in standing. So I have the blocks here, you might not need them. Take a moment or two here just to breathe. Okay, and then we're gonna reach the arms up and exhale and fold. Come on your blocks or your blocks. Okay, keep the left foot where it is. We're gonna take the right foot back and it might go right on the bolster and then we'll lower the knee down. You're just gonna find your place here. So the left foot can come forward if you can go a little deeper or you can come back. You just see here with the knee supported, I'm gonna to start to bend the this right leg. And I'm just looking for more thigh, more front of the, that's not hamstring, thigh stretch. So I'm just lifting the leg. Okay, and then we'll lower that right foot down if you've lifted it. We're gonna scooch the hips back. And I'm just gonna pick up the sole of the foot here, anchor the heel. Good. Okay, you come forward. Maybe you lift the right foot as you come forward and then exhale and take it back. And just flow between these two for a few moments. I'm just kind of waking up in front of that thigh. Good. Okay, the next time you come forward into this bent knee lunge, I'm going to just lift this left hand up and take this left foot out. And I'm going to turn the foot out. So the block can come to the inside if you're using it. Okay, take your left hand to your thigh. Now roll that shoulder back and start to turn. And maybe that right leg bends and maybe the left hand holds the foot. But it, it really, it, everything's happening. You make friends with whatever it is. Just really getting into the front of the quad. That's what we're doing. Okay, release. 
Put your hands down. You're going to keep the left hand on the block or on the floor and take the, I'm going to lift the right hip and take the right arm up. So it's a little awkward. It's almost like a balance. That's it. Good. And then take the hands down. Okay, you're going to walk this left foot back in. The block's going to come over and we're coming to stand. So just pulling this left foot back and just come into this pyramid shape. Make it what you need. So you can kick the bolster forward. Your feet can be both on the floor. Or the back heel if it needs to lift. You can even press into the wall. Now roll your hips front to back. Just take your hips for a little ride here. Good. Okay, well, I feel a standing splint is coming. So here it is. I've got the left foot on the floor. I'm going to walk the hands forward a little bit and just lift the right leg up. Even if it comes up a little bit, maybe it comes up a lot. You just be here in the joy of imbalance. And then we'll step the right foot down. We'll come all the way up. You reach your arms up in the air. And then take the arms down by your sides and maybe hands at your heart, on your belly. You just feel that. Okay, and we'll do the second side. So I'm going to move the bolster over a little bit. Okay, and we'll inhale and reach up. And exhale and forward fold. And hands on blocks or no blocks. And then the right foot stays where it is. And we take the left foot back and it can walk on the bolster. No, you're going to bring that knee down. And then once you're here, you can play with the spacing. So the right foot can walk forward, left knee can go back. Okay. Now I'm going to lift this left foot up off the floor. And just feel right here what this is. And then we'll exhale and take it back and straighten that right leg. You know, here. And then moving it front to back and lifting that left shin and foot if it's something that's happening today. Okay, last one, taking it back, and then if we come forward, we're gonna stay here. Now I still have that left foot lifted. I'm gonna walk the right foot out to the right. So I've just lifted the block. I'm gonna turn the toes out, and then the left hand stays on the block or on the floor. Take the right arm up, and maybe it reaches back and finds that foot or just reaches. Holding the foot is just giving me a lot more in the quadricep. But Whatever you're doing, if you're feeling something, breathe into that, receive it, make friends. Good. Okay. And then come out. Okay, we're just going to take twist second side. So I'm going to walk this left, the right foot in, putting the block to the outside, and then lean over and we'll lift the left arm. And just breathe here. And it's imbalanced and not exactly pleasurable place. For me. Okay, release. Good. We're going to straighten both legs. So I'm going to take this right foot back already, up the toes under, and just straighten your legs and then play with spacing. If the right foot needs to walk out, or you use the wall for the heel, and then we'll roll the hips front to back, just taking these hips for a walk. Moving here, whatever capacity. Good. Okay. And then preparing for the standing splits. So I'm just going to bend the right knee, walk the hands forward, start to lift the left leg up. Wherever it goes, just say, look at me. Like, feel like I'm going to make a taller Cranston skating <laughs> reference just because, you know, you're standing on one leg. Okay, bring that foot down beside the right foot. Heel toe your feet maybe as wide as your mat. Bend your knees, let's rock these hips. And then as promised, we're just gonna go to the full quadricep stretch with the bolster at the wall. So bring yourself up to standing. And then I'm gonna take this bolster and move it over to the right side. And for me, I know it's gonna go right against the wall. I mean, maybe for all of us because you have so much space there. Okay, and we're just gonna come into it. So I'll bring the blocks back. 
I'm standing. I'm going to put the right toes at the wall and start to lower down his right knee. And then the top of the foot comes to the wall. I'm going to walk the left foot forward and bring it into lunge. And it can be intense, but that's kind of the name of the game. I'm going to tell you that the blocks do make things more challenging, not necessarily easier because the heart is lifting and there's a little bit more weight on that thigh. Breathe. And receive this deep, deep release. Okay, you take the hips back and straighten that leg. Here's where you might even walk your leg back. You know, you might take it all the way back. I'm just coming here just to show you. It could go straight, it could be here. Maybe it's here. And things get more interesting when it becomes the whole back against the wall. So I'm just gonna bring my knee right closer to the wall. If I can get my hips to the wall. You go wherever you need to here. This is a lot. I'm smiling even though you can't see my face, but there's a lot happening here. I'm gonna receive it, whatever it is. Take one more breath. If you're here with me, you can lift your arms up. And then we'll slowly come out. And to come out, I'm just gonna rock the hips forward, tuck these toes under. Let's come up. If that's possible, it's a little bit of that strength to come up and then just drop into forward fold once you're here. Oh, okay. Come all the way up to standing, reach your arms up. And release. Feel. Okay, second side. So I'm going to move the bolster over to the left side. And then again, you know, you'll. Stand kind of close to it, use your blocks, and then take the left toes to the wall and slowly lower down. And then the top of the foot comes down. And we're going to start in the lunge. So, you know, I might scooch my knee back a little bit more here. And like I said, the blocks can be a hindrance or a help. See what it is. Looking to really feel that opening and to receive it. Move it with your breath. All of that is trapped energy. Who needs stagnant energy? We need fresh. Okay. I'm going to take the hips back and come to that wall. So you walk your hands, bring the right foot back, you know, figure out whatever it is. Maybe you come up and you're here and you're like, oh, okay, that's great. We're here. And like, just looking for these places of most discomfort. And you're there. If you can reach your arms up, if you're against the wall, breathe it through. And lovingly come out. And again, I'm just going to act, you know, use that bit of thigh strength and see if I can take it up. Oh, whatever happens. Okay, we're going to come to squat. I'm going to use the bolster to sit on, so I'm just going to move it. But if you need higher height, you know, build a house and then come on down. So I am on two blocks of the bolster. I'm going to take the two blocks out. Be good here. And, you know, in this, think about a happy baby seated or child's pose seated. Take one more breath. Okay, we'll take the hands down and just lift up one more time into this forward fold and let it be this, you know, starting to drop in so your eyes can close. Drop your hips. You can swirl the hips and move the feet. Just explore this. Okay. I'm just going to reach here and grab this bolster and I'm going to pull it forward. Yes. Okay, and we're gonna come sit down, all, all the way down. So I'm gonna take a moment, turn around, cross the legs, see what happens. Come down, if that works, and we've got the wall, you can use it. Good. Okay, and we're gonna come into using the strap. So have your strap handy. And lie over the bolster. If you wanna put a blanket down for your hips or put a blanket for your head. And Turn it. Okay. And then we're going to lie down. So 
Bolster is your friend. <laughs> Put it in a place that feels friendly. And we'll open your wings and the legs can stretch out or they can stay bent. And we'll just rest here for a few moments. Letting all those energies we've released circulate wherever they need to go. Take the arms, they might just go over your head. You might grab opposite elbows and let them drop and maybe they'll rest on the bolster. Maybe put a block there if that's better. And I'm just moving those shoulders up like a little bit of flossing. And these arms are gently hugging the top of the bolster. And then again, drop in, feel the breath. Off in the muscles of your face. And if you've got opposite elbows, we're just going to change the grasp now and come back. We drop it in. Okay. Start to move your feet like little windshield wipers. And then we're going to extend the legs straight and do some hip walking here. So I'll push the left leg away, hike the right leg up, and then switch. Taking your hips for a walk and moving the sacrum, the low back, the sides of the waist. Good. And then we'll bend the knees, place the feet on the floor. I'm going to keep my arms here and just change the grasp again. So you put your arms wherever you need to. We're going to go to windshield wiper. And peel toe your feet apart and then begin to just roll those knees through the torso moving. Receive, receive, receive. Okay, bring your knees up and release your arms a bit, maybe back out to the sides for a moment. Okay. I'm just going to scooch down a little bit on the bolster so that I feel the bottom ribs are on the edge of the bolster. Everything else is down. And we're going to lift and lower the hips a few times so the arms can come down, they can be bent, you can stay out to the side if you like. Walk your feet in a little closer towards your hips and then exhale and soften. And as you inhale, start to lift your hips up. And we'll just hold them there for a moment, anchor the feet, you might lift the toes up. And you're bringing the heart to the chin. And then exhale and slowly lower down from top to bottom, feel the bolster and then the arch as the hips come down. Okay, we're gonna flow through that maybe five or so times. And if you're not interested in coming up and down, you know, just put a block, block underneath your hips. So wherever you like your arms, soften first and then inhale and just flow yourself through the set to and lifting and lowering, opening, receiving, releasing. We do two more. last one and then as you come down you can let your arms rest you can stretch the legs out again we'll just lay like broccoli here for a few breaths great circulation of energy okay so we're going to take the strap friends and we're going to move into the um, supta pada and I'm going to stay on the bolster, but if it's a hindrance, you know, take it out, you can turn it, put it underneath your head, see what works. And then I do have the left foot into the wall, just because it's right there. I'm going to put the strap over the right foot, and the knee can be bent. I'm just going to start with some soul shining, waking up the sole of your foot. Okay, I'm going to rock this strap to the center of the foot 
And then I'm gonna let the leg drop. And I just wanna feel like, oh, I can get some space here into this hip crease and then bring the leg up without tightening. So I've just put my fingers right into this hip crease and let the jaw go and just wherever it starts to tighten, maybe that's where you pause. Okay, so then I'll come back to just both hands holding the strap. And if your left foot is into the wall, doesn't have to be, but it's a nice anchor point. I can make it like I'm standing on that left foot. Okay, stay exactly as you are, but go, oh, where can I soften? How can I just invite this in through softening? One more breath. And we're gonna lift the head and chest. So I might take the hands up higher. And then because you maybe have the bolster, it's gonna help a little bit. And just kind of see whatever it is. I'm taking my eyes up to the foot, soft jaw, soft shoulders. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. And then release. And we'll take the strap off. We'll lower the straight right leg all the way down. And then come to rest again. And then bring the left foot in and start again with the soul shine. Whatever works here, your leg is lifted. You feel if the right foot is at the wall and you find its footing. And then we we'll move the strap to the center of the foot. And be in the Supta Padigastasana A, lying on your back with your leg lifted A. And then just feel, you can get all the stuff to the front of the quadricep, and now we're moving into the back of the leg. Okay, um, I didn't have you feel the hip crease here, so if you need to just check in with your hip, where could it be soft and open and receptive to receive the leg? Support the leg. And notice where you're muscling in. Where can you let that go? Soft eyes, soft jaw, soft tongue. Okay, when we prepare to lift, so we take an inhale. Exhale, lift the head and chest, and your hands can reach up higher if that's there. Gently draw the leg in. The eyes are just resting somewhere. Okay. Again, take the strap off, lower down, and extend the straight left leg all the way down to the floor. And come back to your rest. And we're going to come off the bolster. So I'm just going to do it through the crypt. I'll take the arm straight overhead and lift the head. But it will start to come up and just see what happens, if anything. And we'll take the, yeah, we're going to move the bolster. Oh, beautiful. Over to the right side. Um, you might want some other head support. And we're going to come back to soup depth. So have your strap handy. But if you're going to lower down, oh, Maybe a little bit, maybe I'll lift the legs for a moment. Just be here in this art of the Vasana. I feel come all the way down. I'm laughing because heart's like, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> down already. Okay. Good. All right. Now we're here. Let's just um, hug the knees in for a moment just to stretch the back and rock yourself a little bit. And if it wants to be a happy baby, a little stretch then. We'll just take that in. Nice open legs. Okay. We're going to lower the left foot to the floor. Find the strap. Place the strap over your right foot again. Find the center of the foot. And then the left leg can go straight. It can stay bent. Okay. I'm going to hold both ends of the strap in the left hand. You can take the right hand and just find this hip crease. It's almost like a karate chop in there. Hold it back as you stay here for a moment. 
And we're going to take this right leg a little bit over to the left. And we're just looking for more discomfort. And it's, it's there for me right away. So you're feeling it right away when you're in good company. You can massage the outer hip if you need to, or soften your shoulders. Okay, we we'll inhale, take the right hand, grab both ends of the strap, and then take the strap all the way over to the right side. And now you have the bolster if, if it works. You know, maybe it needs to come in right against that hip. It's not like when we bring it right in. It, it works as a really nice support. Left arm's gonna open to the side. Work your feet a little bit, friends. The feet and the hip connection. And just pressing through this right foot. It's almost like I want to make the right leg longer. You know, if you need to move that right leg, no pose ever needs to be static. Find the space there. Okay, inhale, take the leg up. Left hand's going to grab the strap. Right arm's going to come out to the side, and we're going to go over to the left side. So the left leg turns as you bring this right leg over. And you can just put it on the floor. If you have a prop there, you can use it, or it can stay lifted. Mine's lifted. I'm just going to press this right hip away. It's almost like the hips want to compress, or this right thigh wants to rest on the left thigh. Just look for whatever that is. Breathe. And inhale as you are. And on the exhale, take the leg up. Both hands fold the strap. And it's going to push the foot into the strap. And that's going to almost like lift the arms. I'm going to let this leg start to come down. It's going to lift the head and chest. Look at the leg is moving. It's going down. The head and chest are coming. Oh, at some point, maybe you take the leg out and you're sitting. That might happen. And then we're going to come all the way back. So again, I'm going to take this little advantage of doing like a half boat. You lift the legs up, take the arms up, and oh, just bask in your strength. And come all the way down and just do nothing. Let your legs flop. Okay. So I'll take the bolster and you'll just roll it across your body over to the left side. And then bring the left foot in. Strap in the center of the foot. And we'll take both ends of the strap into the right hand. Find your little karate chop with the left hand. Get into that hip crease. <laughs> Push it away. You know, bending the knee is A-OK -okay if that needs to happen. We'll take this left leg across just a little bit, looking for more discomfort. If I can oh, embrace. Look at you, all you sleepy places. And Tight spaces. Welcome, welcome. Inhale. Now as you exhale, take the leg up. Switch hands. If you need to bring that bolster right in against the hip, do it. And just find this opening here, wherever you are. Feel it's like the legs are just ah, growing so long. You're an extension of your guts. First time I heard that, it's like the legs are an extension of the um, colon. Isn't that interesting? And when the legs are weak, you know, that's when you have a lot of digestion issues. And extend your legs, open yourself, create the space. Okay, nice big breath. Inhale and stretch through your legs. And as you exhale, take the leg up. We're going to switch hands. Take the right left arm out to the side and roll the right foot. It's got to roll onto the baby toe edge. And here we are in the twist. Find the place where you can smile and breathe. I'm really pressing this left hip away. Lots of discomfort, I'm just sharing. We're all in this together. Yeah. One more breath. And then inhale as you are. Exhale, come back. Separate the hands. Hold the strap. And then we'll start to really press the foot into the strap. And I'm going to lower the leg down. It's going to lift the head and chest. Maybe they're going to come up just a little bit. 
Maybe I can keep going. Oh, push the foot, push the foot. Whatever happens, it happens. It doesn't happen, it happens. You did it. Good stuff. Okay. Then take your bolster. I'm going to lie over the bolster. I'm going to tell you that now because if that's too high for you, you know, just use a blanket instead. You can be a little bit away from the bolster. Once you're in it, you're going to know what feels good. And um, I have my legs cross legged. I think I'm just going to stay like that. If that's okay for you, I'm cutting the feet in a bit just to support the calves. And I'm just taking this lift. So the arms are hopefully, you know, um, on the floor. And see if that's too much discomfort, you know, bend your knees, put your feet on the floor, lift your hips and move the bolster up or down a little bit. Just feel. Okay, and then hopefully you're in a place where you can rest here. I'm gonna take the arms back overhead just to get really open into this creamy center. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the feet on the floor and we're gonna come to windshield wiper really as an act of rolling from side to side. So if I drop the knees over to the right, I'm actually gonna roll onto the right side a little bit and then we'll just roll back and forth. So it's just a little bit of, I'm gonna use the word massaging on the sides. And so you're just letting yourself roll over the poster. Okay, let's do one more on each side. We started on the right side. We'll end with the left. We'll come back. And when the knees are bent, we're gonna walk the feet in. We're gonna lift the hips up and scooch this bolster all the way down so it comes underneath the sacrum. And we're coming to rest again. So the knees might stay bent. The legs can look straight if you like that. Maybe the arms come over your head if that's okay. And I do have my feet against the wall. Melting and whatever you're feeling. I'm going to keep my arms overhead, re bend the knees, and come back to windshield wiper. We'll separate the feet and then rock the knees over and let the hips move. You've got this whole length of the bolster. You can put your arms up to the side if that's better. Just let yourself roll. We're going to come to center and with the bolster underneath the hips and we bring the knees in and let the, you know, let the tail lift a little bit, put a little bit more pressure from the thighs into the upper chest. You can take it to happy baby if you like. It's going to just lift things a little more and maybe you take the hands to the inside of the heels and straighten the legs and they can go out to the side. So just be in whatever this is, this crunching. Use the word crunching into the abs a little bit. You never use the word abs. <laughs> but into the belly. Okay, wherever you are, take a nice big breath. And then bring the knees back in if you've taken them out and slowly lower the feet to the floor. You're looking for the floor as slow as you can. Okay. So the feet are together, the knees are together. I'm just gonna roll these knees side to side, just one last little release before we move into Shavasana. And so for your Shavasana friends, um, come to center. You can even lift the hips and move the bolster down and maybe rest in a Baddha for a few moments if that feels good. And you can also put the bolster underneath your spine and your back to rest into. And, so just as I'm coming in, I feel I'm just going to massage this soft, creamy center a little bit. I feel like I can move these energies. Yeah, 
eating pads, sweaters, socks, anything else that just take a moment and set yourself up for success. A blanket to cover you if you're staying in or any pose, cover yourself with a blanket. Dropping into this stillness and this place of meeting yourself as you are. And also like tender mama, just soothing yourself. Softening of the forehead, tension, negative thinking. Doesn't serve you, doesn't serve anyone else. Even imagining the brain resting in the back of the skull. Softening your eyes, pillows of your cheeks, your jaw, your tongue, base of your throat. You're imagining these wingspan that we've opened. Feel them resting. You might even imagine them wrapping you up. Holding your precious heart as it rests. Softening the belly. The pelvic floor. All the way from the hips to the heels. Cased in all of this is the length of your spine, the great messenger within, connecting to the brain, to the tail. Feeling the full length of you from crown of head to heels. It's receiving this rest, Shavasana. Dropping into your deepest state of rest. Staying in your restful state as we seal this practice for as long as you like. You're going to come out, let that begin with a deepening of the breath. Just fill yourself up. Release like a sigh. Continuing on as the way for the Our intuitive movements you want to come in.
moving between two worlds, two different times. Come to sitting in our silence for a few moments as we do. Let your hands rest in a place that feels helpful. It could be palms up, palms down, or on your heart, your belly. You are in control of your energy. What you offer up to the world is good medicine. It's needed. So you're ready to bring your hands together at your heart and lengthen yourself tall and bow your chin, all that you are. And the essence of it is love. You may seal this with one and all. Breathe that breath into your heart. That rejuvenated breath and then offer that to yourself. Yes. It's a reminder of you are energy, energy, energy and matter, and so much water. And so, my loves, my friends, my yogis, thank you so much, guys. Go make magic. Namaste. And yes, we'll see you later. Thank you, thank you, thank you.